guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today we're going to be making this adorable, flashy, snowflake type card. So cute. And believe it or not, it really is clean and simple if you have all the right items. I'm using, I want to show you two different bundles. The beautiful Blizzard bundle. Remember, if you buy a bundle, you can save. 10%. So the beautiful Blizzard stamp set and the Blizzard Thinlet dies. We're going to be using these thin, this Thinlet die and we're going to be using, if a hug were a snowflake, I'd send you a Blizzard. We're going to heat emboss that and then we're going to use these snowflakes on the inside. So I want to make sure you saw that. And then we're also going to be using the big tree, this one here. And I've gone ahead and cut out of my glimmer paper this one, but oh my gosh. And when you buy this uh, set of dies in the woods, framelit dies, you're going to want to get the winter woods. I mean, year round, year round, you can use this bundle. Love it, love it, love it. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that. All right. So right off the bat, let's go ahead. I've, I've gone ahead and cut the tree out of the glimmer paper. And remember, our glimmer paper has changed. It's much thinner now, it's easier to work with, it's easier to, to cut with your dies. And this has got dimension in it, so you can just pop it all up. As you guys can see, I've done here. Let me show you from an angle. So just kind of run your fingers through it to give it a little, a little dimension. So just run your fingers through that. Kind of do that, so we're good there. All right, now I'm gonna tell you as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you will find a link back to my blog post with all the measurements for this card. Set that over there. I've got a piece of uh, glimmer paper here that I'm going to go ahead and cut my blizzard thinlets out of. I like to do it like this though. Turn it upside down, turn my glimmer paper upside down. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my big shot. Just square it up on there. I just measured the die. Remember everyone's big shots are gonna be calibrated a little bit different. So you may need to run it through and back through. I'm using my magnetic platform and Let's see how we did. I ran it through multiple times. It looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my case. With my brush. And let's see how we did. Now this is extremely intricate dye, remember. So, but all these snowflakes that you're going to have, save those things, use them for other projects. Love the dye, love it. All right, so, just going through. And let's see what we get here. So you may have to go through and pick some out. But look how quickly they come out. To be so intricate and gorgeous. Oh yeah, well worth the time. And then if you're not sure if you got them all, set them on. See, I'm setting it down here on this navy. Just like that. All right, now, now that we've got that done, I've got another piece of Whisper White. This piece is for the inside, but I wanted to give it that oh, tonal look. So to do that, I'm grabbing my Knight of Navy and my Brayer sponge. And we're just going to brayer this. And I want it darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. 
these are sponges on steroids. I love them. So up, over, over, over. You don't want to just go back and forth. You want to go over, over, over. Okay. So start off. And then you build on yourself because I want it lighter at the bottom. So I'm going to start off. And I'm going to get ink on my fingers. That's okay. That means we've been crafting, right? All right. So now let's just concentrate on this top a little. Once you've done that, then you can kind of back and forth because I've got less ink and look how gorgeous that is love the tones love it okay quick now I will tell you you could put one of our adhesive sheets on the back of this but you know it's very detailed as it is so let's go ahead and I'm just going to use my fine tip glue and it's probably not a bad idea for you to get your adhesive sheet or your silicone sheet put it down and then just get busy got that done now let's go ahead bring this over we're going to put this right on top of it. And I've cut it just a smidge smaller. Okay. Give it a good push. Actually, you could turn it over and give it a good push. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put this on our card. Now, this is a different size. It's not your typical where you're going to have the same borders all the way around. So, with that being said, go ahead and get it up here to the top. And then we'll take care of the bottom with our strip. Okay? gone ahead using the layering ovals this you get this entire group here I've used the second largest of the regular ovals and the largest of the scalloped to cut from my backer let's go ahead and put those together let me pull that up here where I can see it So the card really is easy. Does that mean it's not a little time consuming? No, but it's so gorgeous, it's so worth it, if you ask me. So I'm just gonna put that up. Oh, and center it about there. Maybe just a smidge higher there. Okay, and like I said, I cut my tree. We gotta do just a tiny bit of heat embossing. So let's bring in our Versamark. Bring in our embossing buddy. Have my sentiment. And I gotta tell you guys, I broke down because they're so cheap. Bought myself a new Versamark, and then I'm like, why didn't I do that earlier? You know how we just keep holding on to things? Why? Pretty straight. No, that's not too straight. Let's try that again. Yes, I have my refill. I'm going to pull it down so I can see. Hang on just one second. Much better. Okay. White embossing powder. Beautiful. Grab my heat gun, heat that up.
Okay, we'll let that dry for just a second. And then we're going to go ahead. This is where you can cheat that distance from the bottom. Okay, now go ahead and line this up. Like I said, the measurements will be on my blog to where you have the same distance on the top and the bottom. See there? Doesn't that look good? Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's get our fine tip glue. I'm staying away from where it pops. They pop up. Do your outer edges. All the way around. And then just some strategic points. Okay, bop that down. Put that right there in the middle. Go ahead and push it down. And then you can kind of come back and... Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the Take Your Pick tool. It's on page 30 of the Holiday Catalog. Oh my gosh, loving the Take Your Pick tool. It comes with an extra, one of the little pickups. This is my favorite part of it. And these ends all just screw and unscrew. That's got a poke, poker on it. This is a stylus. But this little spatula is my favorite. And it comes with an extra refill for the little gummy picker upper stuff so but i'm telling you the little poker thing might be best for this let me try something here let's just get my tool because i want to pull these up i don't want them drying down There we go. I wanted that dimension. I see one up here, too. Uh, I may have got glue on it. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to use my little spatula. But here you go. Watch me with my rhinestones. Best thing ever for your rhinestones. Ever. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to sporadically put some of these around. Whoops. Another large one. Isn't that awesome? I'm telling you. Oh, let's take some of these smaller ones and put in these. Yep. Oops. It's much easier than the pick to me. It's definitely easier than the scissors. I see some people do the scissors. So, yeah. That's off. Can't have that off. Love it. Okay, let's grab one of our snowflakes. Let's do this one. No, oh, it's too big. How about one of these? Remember, this is what came out. And we can take our glue. I'm just doing it around the center. I'm going to put that down there. Grab my tool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cute, cute, cute. Now, on this one, I put some more snowflakes around the tree. Hmm. Should we do a couple? Let's do three, shall we? We'll do three of those. And 
pop the centers of them out. And I think the easiest way to do this is put my glue, just a dot of glue, and then this is where the other end, where it's got the little pickup stuff, just set that down there on the wrong side of that one. Flip it over. Perfect for sequins. All right, now let's put some of our great tool. The more you play with it, the better handle you're going to get on it, too. So cute. All right, we've now got a wood. Let's get our Knight of Navy. And let's stamp some snowflakes on the inside. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do them on the inside of this one while I got it out. Love it. All right. Let's put that down. And there you go. We did a whole lot of different techniques today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. Remember, we used the... Winter Woods in the woods framelits and we used the beautiful blizzard or the blizzard thinless I should say and the beautiful blizzard stamp set love it bundle save 10 percent hope you guys have a wonderful day as always I've listed two more videos at the end of this one I think you may enjoy happy crafting <laughs>